The Mid-South Marching Band Festival is kicking off at Gadsden City High School. Yes, yeah, CBS 42 News reporter Connor Gasky live this morning in Gadsden. And Connor, this event has a big impact on the city. It does. In fact, school leaders tell me they expect about eight or 9,000 people to fill up the stadium here at Gadsden City High School. So it's going to be a full house, perhaps even standing room only. And many fans who will be here will also eat at local restaurants in the area while they're here. And that's just one reason this is such a big deal for this area. It's also the oldest marching band competition in the southeast. You're going to see bands from Alabama, Georgia, even one from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Local businesses will also see an increase. We caught up with the manager of a chick fillet close by. She says they have to prepare for this influx of extra customers every year. It usually starts early, yes, and it lasts until we close. So it's really, really busy. You just you put your game face on and you do the best you can and you always greet the customer and you, you do the best you can. She says the festival probably brings in a third more sales compared to an average day. Chick-fil-A also sells sandwiches at the stadium during the festival, so that helps their business as well. The festival is tomorrow. The first band takes the field at 1230. Gadsden City High School will perform an exhibition performance at 9, and the award ceremony is at 930 tomorrow night. Live in Gadsden, count at Gasquee CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.